Hello, San Joaquin Delta College students. My name is Adriana Broger. I'm a professor of radio, television, and digital media at Delta College. And in this quick video, I want to give you an overview of some really great resources that Delta College has to offer so that before the semester starts, you can take a look at these and just get acquainted with some of them. And even well into the semester, know that these are available for you. So here we go. All right, so I wanted to start here at the home page. From the home page, we can go over to student life. And you can click over, excuse me, student life. If we hold here, um, right under campus life is this little uh, heart icon with a heartbeat. And that is the health and wellness website or section of the website rather. And here we can see health and wellness services. Uh, this is Nicole Sandoval, Heather Bradford, and myself. And together with Annalisa Lagruda, the four of us are faculty advisors for a club that focuses on wellness on campus and that's called Active Minds. And you'll see an invitation to that in just a little bit. So this page serves as sort of a center for everything that you might want to know about in terms of health and wellness and the holistic approach that we have at Delta College, which if I scroll, you can see that here, the eight dimensions of wellness. So the good news is that San Joaquin Delta College has so many resources. And in this video, I'm going to show you where they are where you can find them. So if you scroll down, you'll see that there's a section called news announcements and regularly scheduled events. I would encourage that you bookmark this page so that you can come back to it and have this shortcut to these various links. So the first one that I wanna talk about is Talk Campus. And Talk Campus, as you see here, is this new support, well, it's not new, newer to our campus. Um, it was launched last fall and we're continuing with that. So I wanna let you know about it because it is um, another party, it's not uh, through Delta College, it is a um, networking peer-to-peer -peer, um, sort of Facebook, but specifically for college students all around the world who are having conversations about wellness. And just as an FYI, it's not open to faculty or to staff. So the only people there are students. It is monitored for safety um, through these other folks that are not your faculty and staff. So please go there. Um, you can ha have an account and you can, um, participate in this for free through the account that and that Delta College has paid for. So if you're interested in this, there is a video here um, for you to learn more information. And very simply, you can go to Google Play for an Android device or to the Apple App Store if you have an iOS device and make sure that you download that, create an account. And when you use your Delta College um, email, which now some of you might have deltacollege.edu or it might be the mustangs.edu, um, that edu is what's going to validate you within the system so that you're good to go. So that's one resource, Talk Campus. The next one is gonna be Campus Well. I love this. This is a, a great website that has really good information for us. And first it's telling us um, to be mindful about uh, the COVID-19 and how some of these tips or information might not necessarily be um, standard during co current COVID time. So they just wanna remind us to pay attention to that. So what is Campus Well? It's this great page where you can come to get curated articles, information um, involving, again, the different eight areas of uh, dimensions of wellness. So body, food, mind, academic, self, relationships, money, sexual culture. So I think this is super handy. I love this. Lots of really great resources. I think it's well organized. And I recommend, again, that you bookmark this page. All right. Next, I'm going to show you um, a couple of groups that I think are really very, very important and that are open for free to all Delta College students. And these are um, groups where you can come and be a part of a smaller group than the first one that I showed you, which was Talk Campus. I said that that's global, right? So that's 24 hours, seven days a week. You can connect with college students anywhere in the world. These other groups that I'm gonna talk about are more specific to our campus. So Cafe Connections is a group that's facilitated by Heather Bradford, and she is one of our counselors on campus who really focuses on mental health and wellness. And Heather has such a 
great connection with so many different folks on campus um, and off campus in the community. And that's really great. In Cafe Connections, they are serving up cups of kindness, compassion, understanding, and support with different topics such as self-care, mindfulness, managing anxiety and worry, staying motivated, setting boundaries, tips for healthy eating and exercise, staying connected, and mental health resources. So I'm not exactly sure if this is going to happen every Friday at 9 a.m. for this new semester, but the good news is that whether that changes or not, that any updates will be reflected on this page, and now you know about the page. The next one that I want to talk to you about is Active Minds. And this is a great group. This is uh, lots, you've got lots of different students from Delta College. You have different faculty members and staff members and folks join here once a week to talk about a number of different things. So just like Cafe Conversation, Cafe Connections, sometimes there is a conversation that's happening uh, specifically around one topic. Sometimes it is an art therapy project. Sometimes it is a book club uh, because there, there's a book club. And so there might be selected readings from that. But what you can count on is that every time there is a Zoom for Active Minds, there will be a group of people who are all concerned about wellness, about checking in, um, and you can come in and participate in introductions. You can turn on your camera, you can turn your camera off, you can just listen, you can just use the chat box, you can join us wherever you're comfortable. So I hope that this has been helpful, but before I end it, I wanna let you know that there's another great resource on campus that also focuses on mental health and wellness. Um, well, there are so many because the Pride Center does this as well. You'll see great talks happening there. Um, but another one that's on this calendar that I wanna make sure I talk to you about um, is Coffee Talks. And this is a, a group that's hosted through our I Am Yo Soy Club, and they come to us through the, um, the uh, student undocumented students and allies. So this is a great group um, and you'll see the meeting ID here and the password. And this is through our Dreamers Center. Okay, and let's go back up to these options and let's go over to services because you'll see that there's so many other resources available for you and you may not be aware of them. So I would really encourage you to spend some time clicking on these different links to check out what resources are available. But another one that I think is really important is counseling and special services. If we click here, we can see that there is, um, again, here's Talk Campus, here's Campus Well, Cafe Connections, free personal counseling support for students, make an appointment to see a counselor. And so this is great because you can see that if you're a new student, you've got an option here. If you're at Stockton campus, Mountain House, or a previous student, that there are different options there as well. And it's so great because if we click here, you can see that there are different kinds of counseling. So there is academic progress probation counseling, student athlete counseling, and also so the health and wellness counseling and health, is, health and wellness is the focus of this video. So before I end it, I just want to say that there are other services available to students um, that are really, really great. So I just want to point out um, that we have support programs and communities um, where you will find a whole lot of great resources. So I wanted to point out EOPS and CARE, CalWORKS, um, the DSPS or Disability Support Program and Services, Empowerment Resource Program. If this sounds new, that it's had a name change, but this is uh, providing support to former foster youth students who were formerly incarcerated, as well as students who are homeless and housing insecure. Um, there's also a Veterans Resource Center, and uh, as I mentioned before, the Undocumented Students Resources. All you have to do is click, and then you'll go to get more information about that specific resource. We also have academic support communities, um, learning communities, Affirm, Epic, Mesa, and Puente. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful. I wish you wellness in this upcoming semester, and I hope to see you sometime at an Active Minds meeting. Take care.